Hello everybody. Today we are going to solve RMO 2024 problem number 2. This RMO happened just few days back on 3rd November and a couple of students might be wondering about this questions approach. So this question is unusual and uh, it deals with reminders of consecutive numbers dividing a given particular number. So in that sense we have to approach with the bound above. So let's take a closer look into it. So here is the problem number 2 of RMO. You are given with a function r of n that takes natural number to another natural number and r of n functional value can also be 0. along with natural numbers we have to figure out the values of n for which r of n equals n minus 1 so the function goes like this r of n is the sum of remainders when 1 divides n plus 2 divides n so on till n divides n we add all these reminders and the resultant value will be r of n now we have to figure out the value of n such that r of n equals n minus 1 now as you see this question do not try to attempt with the known uh, formulas and so on do not go into the usual conventional pathway you first have to question yourself is the value of r of n going really large when compared to n minus 1 or quite small when compared to n minus 1 as you increase the value of n now once you ask this question to yourself you will try to think in the correct direction your initial path will be close to the solution at least if not exact so as you work out through some examples you will see that when n crosses 10 or 15 the value of r of n shoots up and it is far beyond n minus 1 now we try to bound the value of r of n from below so that when you substitute n minus 1 you get you can get the condition for n Let's try to do that. First, what is the reminder when n is divided by n? Or let's say n divides n, the reminder is 0. And let's take n minus 1 divides n. Clearly the quotient has to be 1 and the reminder is thus 1. n minus 2 divides n the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 2 now we will make a small assumption if n is odd or let's take it as n is even we can go up to n by 2 plus 1 dividing n and the remainder will be n by 2 minus 1 the reason why we chose n by 2 plus 1 is that if you decrease the number by 1 you will reach n by 2 whose quotient will be equal to 2 so n by 2 plus 1 is the largest number with quotient 1 when it divides n the reason is that twice of these values will exceed n all right so we have figured out the remainders for certain numbers let's add them and we will reach a lower bound for r of n so r of n is greater than or equal to 0 plus 1 plus 2 till n by 2 minus 1 now this is equal to n by 2 minus 1 times n by 2 minus 1 plus 1 and 1 and minus 1 will get cancel to yield n by 2 the whole by 2 so this clearly grows faster when compared to n minus 
So this is the reason why I claim that R of n will be greater than n minus 1 for most of the numbers. So this is the motivation for bounding R of n from below. This is one of the strategies employed to solve number theory problems related to these um, relations that do not agree. So this turns out to be the inequality can be written as n minus 1 greater than or equal to n minus 2 times n by 8. So let's expand this. I just substituted the value of r of n here. Nothing else. So when you expand this out, you would get n square minus 10 n plus 8 is less than or equal to 0. Now we add. Seventeen to both sides, so we would get twenty-five is less than or equal to seventeen, and n square minus ten n plus twenty-five is nothing but n minus five whole square. And in order to complete the square, I added seventeen both sides. Now delineate the possible values of n, which turns out to be two, four, six, eight. But not 10 because 5 square is greater than 17 and not 0 because the same reason. So this outlines possible values for n when it is even. Now let's move on to the case when it is odd. But the analogy is obvious. If n is odd, then we do the same thing almost. When n divides n, the remainder is 0. So a remark here, I am listing the reminders in the right side of the arrow. When n minus 1 divides n, reminder is 1. n minus 2 divides n, reminder is 2. So on till n plus 1 by 2 divides n. Remember I stop at n plus 1 by 2 because the quotient when n plus 1 by 2 divides n shall be 1. It cannot be 2 as twice of it exceeds n. So this will be n minus 1 upon 2. So clearly r of n has to be greater than or equal to the sum of all these. So the sum would be 1 plus 2 till n minus 1 by 2 which is nothing but n minus 1 by 2 times n plus 1 by 2 whole divided by 2. Now substitute r of n as n minus 1. So we would get n minus 1 into n plus 1 upon 8. Cancelling of n minus 1 both sides, it yields n is less than or equal to 7. Ta-da! We got the upper bound for the value of n. So this is why you have to analyze the R of n growth and the growth of n minus 1. Okay, now what are the possible values here? It has to be 1, 3, 5 and 7. So in total we have to consider all the values from 1, 2 till so this is the combined result of the two upper bounds for case 1 when n is even and case 2 when n is odd. Alright, so now we have to manually calculate it. R of 1 is 0 because when 1 is divided by 1, remainder is 0 r of 2 would be when 1 divides 2 the remainder is 0 when 2 divides 2 the remainder is 0 so it is 2 so similarly for 3 it would be 0 plus 1 plus 0 which is 1 
for 4 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 which is 1 for 5 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 which is 4 and R of 6 would be 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 which is 3 and R of 7 0 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 0 which would be 8 and at last R of 8 R of 8 would be 0 plus 0 plus when it is divided by 3 reminder is 2 when it is divided by 4 reminder is 0 by 5 reminder is 3 by 6 reminder is 2 by 7 reminder is 1 and by 8 reminder is 0 so this would be 8 now what are the values for which r of n equals n minus 1 clearly it's for 1 and 5 so thus the answers are n equal to 1 and 5.